Well, I'm feeling all tingly, generally all over. That can mean only one thing. It's about time for the Celebrity Challenge. So to find out what it is they'll be playing, let's go over to Old Bloke. I like to get dirty once in a while, and what better way to do it than on the classic arcade racer, Sega Rally. My contestants will be playing the two-player version of the game, which means they'll be swapping between their viewpoints to keep abreast of the action. The race will be conducted over two laps, with plenty of puddles, gravel, and mud to keep things interesting. As usual, the player first across the line gets the joystick. Gentlemen, start your engines. And here to play Sega Rally today, two of the finest and most physically attractive British blokes ever to sit in a motor, Johnny Herbert and Mark Blundell. Yeah! Okay, now, Mark, I know you've both had a brief practice on the game. How does it handle compared to a real car? Pretty good. It's pretty good. It's quite uh, realistic. Any problems you envisage? Yeah, Johnny. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, me and the commentators, we like to have a little bit of bet, just a couple of smarties, you know, either side. It's pretty 50-50 easy, even money just now. Do you think you can take Johnny? I'm sure I can take him. <laughs> now, Johnny, um, you've been on Games Master before. You were very successful last time. Is that going to give you the edge over Mark, do you think? Um, I hope so, yeah. I think after a little little battle then, I think it's going to be interesting. You're, so, you're almost playing at home. Actually. Yeah, more or less, yeah. Exactly. And the other thing is, I was thinking, Johnny, you're obviously you're a fantastic-looking bloke. I mean, Mark is quite good-looking as well, but you're a fantastic-looking bloke. And I was thinking, it's a shame to hide that behind a helmet most of the time. Do you think they should have a rule that the good-looking Formula One drivers don't wear a helmet? I think so. I think it would be fair, wouldn't it? I don't, I don't know. I'm not that good-looking. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> OK, right. Coming up in part two, we're going to see if Johnny can take Mark. And perhaps, even more importantly, can our two net offers find anything interesting on there? Join us in a couple of minutes. Johnny Herbert, our two special guests today, about to fight it out on Sega Rally. My co commentator on this is our arcade expert, Derek Lynch from Funland. Derek, they're going to have Thank a you. choice of two cars. That's right. This. What's the difference between them? Well, it's a Lancia or a Toyota. Mm -hmm. Now, the, Lancia, the Toyota is fast on the straights, yep. and the Lancia is better on the corners, but I think they're going to go for the Toyota. Okay, so speed is the order That's of right, the day for them. Yeah. Any other tips you can give them, Derek? Yes, yeah, so they should watch out for the steering, not to oversteer, because mm -hmm. the cars are very sensitive. Yep. Yeah. And what about And to watch out for the slipstream, because if they're behind, and they get into the slipstream, it can take advantage and overtake. OK, let's yeah. hope they bear Derek's words to mind. OK, then, it's a two-lap race. Whoever is in the lead at the end of the second lap will win the golden joystick. Best of luck, Mark. Best of luck, Johnny. Start your engines. We're going to get the count in a minute. They're both revving up a little bit. Three, two, one. one. Off they go. We'll start with Mark Blundell's monitor. He is, in fact, in the lead. He's got the better start. Fantastic standing. We can see Johnny in his rearview mirror there. Losing a little bit of ground. Let's swap to Johnny Herbert's monitor. We can see him behind. He's trying to get the right race and overtake him. Derek, what would you do if you were Johnny? You try and get into the slipstream straight behind him, and then on opportunity, try and slip down on the side. Okay. I think he's going to try and do that. He didn't get the inside. He's in the slipstream now. Now he's going for the inside. Johnny Herbert's going for the inside. Oh, Mark finds into him there. <laughs> Taking a leap out of Schumacher's group. So Johnny is still in second place. We're still in Johnny's monitor. He's in the slipstream. And again, he makes his move on the inside. Johnny oh. overtakes him. Oh. OK, so Johnny's on, on the gravel now, so you have to watch out because the drift here is quite a lot. So you can see that Mark is catching up here. OK, let's drift. go back to Mark's water. Indeed, Mark has caught up a little bit. He's in the slipstream. He's moving out, but Johnny cuts him off as we come at the end of the first lap, and he's making it at the end of the first lap. <laughs> we're in the jumpy bit now. Now we're going to do another it's a sort of gentle right-hander there. Still Mark Lundell in second. They go to the halfway checkpoint. We're halfway through the second lap. Another overtaking when you're banged into by Johnny Herbert. He's having an aggressive race, Derek. That's right. He's probably watching him in the mirror and blocking him out. Well, that's right, of course. If you can't see the guy behind in your mirror, if you keep them in the middle of the mirror, they're not going to be able to overtake you, exactly. are they, Derek? Yeah. OK, so let's go back to Mark's monitor as he tries to uh, overtake him. Uh, Mark does it. Mark overtakes on the inside, but Johnny takes him. He's back again. This is a fantastic race. We're still with Mark. We can see Johnny Marsh trying to get the line. He does for the inside. He does it. Mark nobody loses it again on the ground. And he spins off. This could be Herbert's race, Derek. We're coming up to the finish of the line. Now Mark makes a last ditch effort on the inside. Johnny holds it. Johnny Herbert is the winner. <laughs> a 
try to get my, my voice back after that. What a challenge, Mark. You lost by one tenth of a second. That was all that was in it. Where did you lose that vital tenth? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it might have been that first chicane, actually. I think where Johnny blocked me. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I sent him in a drought. Yeah. yeah I could never recover. You are wearing a, slight, <laughs> a slightly heavier shirt than Johnny as well. Maybe that was the case. Yeah, Johnny's got a nice ladies' linen blouse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> and that was it. It was the added weight. It was slightly working against you at the end. Now, Johnny, obviously, you've won the British Grand Prix. How does that compare? To winning on this no contest this was absolutely fantastic and i think it's mainly down to the blouse that i've obviously got that far far ahead and got that extra tenth of a second that was it well it was certainly one of the tensest challenges i can ever remember on the show and the second games master golden joystick he's won in his career mr johnny herbert <laughs>